sprout. <laughs> so there you go. So first I'd like to thank the organisers. I'd like to thank the Island Council for inviting us here. I work for e-waste Canarias. We are the only users of electronic apparatus in the Canary Islands at present. We recycle electronic apparatuses. We are based in Arico in the south. We were founded in 2006. The idea was to um, set up a business in which we could work on three areas of sustainable development, economic, social and environmental. And we wanted to work in an industry that would help us with end of life of electronic waste products. So we see the products being recycled for us as a resource from which we could extract raw materials. Now there have been various different landmarks in our history, mm, historical landmarks. And we set up the business and then 2008 was a turning point because we were awarded a, um, a concession for public land use, for private use by the Island Council. This was an initiative that was in fact set up by the Island Council in order to uh, win this concession we had to comply with certain sustainable development uh, requirements we had to be using cutting edge technology we had to invest in r d we had to promise job creation uh, particularly uh, we needed to integrate uh, persons with difficulties of finding employment and we had to have a positive environmental impact so we managed to comply with all these requirements and this was an extremely important moment for us because this was the very bedrock of our business and then in 2010 we began to build our um, electronic and electronic goods recycling facility and then we began working in 2012 and then finally move on to the final phase of our e-waste process and this was the rollout of a re re refrigerated gases recycling facility this is basically a public private initiative and this was in fact the very first refrigerant gas of its type in Spain and we are when we uh, set up this plant, we decided that we would use biogas from landfill as fuel. This was key. Obviously, mm, a public initiative and private initiative needs to be allied much more. So this, I think, was positive for us. Now, mm, basically, the key players in this whole story are waste, is waste. Um, four different areas that we should look at. First we have the clean points, we have the councils, we have distributors. In fact we have a new uh, law that has been introduced in which distributors play a key role in this whole process. And then we have other managers, these are professionals, uh, key stakeholders that have been working in the sector for a long time. Obviously. Mm, these are not the people that will be recycle all the time, but they play a key role in being, uh, making recycling possible. And then finally we set up our, our, our recycling plants. So what's our business model? Well, from the beginning to the present date, well, in uh, these uh, 10 years or so, we have recycled 25,000 tonnes of WEEE waste. Uh, we have been able to also quantify our carbon footprint. We are actually a carbon sink and we are lucky because the government buys this carbon from us. This makes us a carbon sink. Uh, in fact, we reduce uh, CO2 emissions by 480,000 tonnes a year. We also decontaminate 99.8 percent. This is uh, a part of what we do because of the cutting edge technology that we use in our processes. Mm. 
So this is our production. These are our production figures. But sustainability and circular economy is also a key area. So therefore, we use 100% renewable energy. This makes us an urban mine of the 21st century. Now, next area, social. We have 32 people directly employed. Uh, and 80% of our staff have uh, fixed-term contracts. Uh, ex the opposite, sorry, they have permanent contracts. Mm, and 40% of our staff come from uh, persons with disabilities or people who are socially excluded. We also work with various different uh, environmental organisations. And through this, we have outreach programs and 30,000 people come to visit our facilities every year. Most of these are school children, but we also get visited by neighborhood associations, university students, uh, other types of organizations. Mm, basically, we're visited by people who are curious about mm, how we decontaminate the electronic goods, how we recycle, and the doors of our factory are open to all of them. We have a environmental showroom in our factory. And we also have a tour circuit uh, for people to go and take a look and see how we recycle in our factory. Now, investment figures, economy. We receive 9 million euros in uh, investment. And every year, our turnover is about 4 million euros. Mm. Our turnover has to, it's generated from two different areas. 40% are the decontamination services. Uh, basically, we have producers and there's co-responsibility and we have certain laws in place, um, which means whereby certain electronic goods are introduced to market every year. And then the other 60% comes from the sale of raw materials that we produce when we recycle. So we want mm, sales to f form the lion's share, more so than decontamination services, because we want to make producers more responsible and we want it easier and cheaper for citizens to recycle their electronic goods. This is an object for any modern civilized society. So. To complete, while well, we have a full commitment to added value, we have all the requisite certificates for labour conditions, environmental conditions, we renew our certification every year, and we are committed to knowledge transfer, we work alongside universities and research centres. We have various different projects in the pipeline at the moment, mm, one on glass recycling, one on uh, improving uh, uh, cement facilities and polyurethane as well, which is another material that we're working on. Mm. And we hope that polyurethane will be able to commercialise as an alternative uh, uh, solvent to be used by industry, not only here in the Canary Islands and in, in the rest of Spain, but abroad too so we can export the fruits of our labours. What else? We are very proud of uh, the fact that we've received many different prizes, but we, are, we acknowledge the fact also that these prizes are fully thanks to all of the different uh, stakeholders that have worked alongside us, so therefore we want to con continue to work um, making people responsible and thanking all the various different organizations for their generosity in helping us because they've been able to help us so much in many different projects and initiatives both here in the Canary Islands and in the rest of Spain. So to conclude I would like to thank all of you for your attention and I hope that in this wonderful conference that the idea of a sustainable circular economy will be transmitted beyond the doors of this conference, not only for the colleagues here, but not only for the Canary Islands, but for the rest of the planet. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your attention.